Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Badly Crusader Kings 2 where we are playing Edmund Blackadder. My name is as usual the bad gaming guy. I once considered calling myself the bad ASMR guy but it turns out I'm no longer legally allowed to whisper in people's ears. So here we are. We've just become a duke. We've got my greedy little eyes on King William the Conqueror's throne. We have a child now, a Rosalind Blackadder, with Princess Gisa of England. So let's continue and see what happens. Special minor titles, designate the region, we'll tell you what we'll do. We'll give you some money. We'll visit your chambers. We'll use car in for one. Still not pregnant. Okay. We'll that honorary title of designated regent. And what we're going to do is we're going to go. And we're going to do this. All in eight. 127 is her ID and 2608089 is mine. There we go, now she's pregnant. Ta da! Magic. And King William the Conqueror has declared war on Devonhearth, which is this area here, I believe. Yes. I'm in command in the sea. Not a particularly good commander, I'm a, a very strong schemer though. I'm only currently the advisor. And what I think I'm going to do is if I go to council. There's a way I can see my leisure's council. He's the Chancellor, the Seneschal. Do you know what? Just temporarily, we're going to turn off the card in the phone because it makes the uh, tooltip huge. So he's the Marshal, I'm just the Advisor. He's the Steward. Who's the Chancellor? Court Chaplain. She's the nobody, the nobody. Ah. Does it appear that there is no Spy Master of England at the moment, am I right in saying that? Well, let's find out, shall we? By going. Car in for one. Play 140. Ah, Spy Master is Drogo. Who is not a particularly good spy master and who hates our liege because he's been cuckolded. Oh dear. In some uh, traditional medieval style, King William the Conqueror has made his cousin his lover and that means his spy master is not very happy. Well, do you know, I'm going to leave that, I think, potentially in play for now. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, 
he's actually going to come to court, so let's bring him to court. He doesn't like the king anymore. So that's going to bring the king's former spy master and the king's lover under our control. Brilliant. And that means there is no spy master currently in England. So hopefully the king will get the hint. Hint hint. Spy master me up, please. How are we doing? We're doing alright. Leading the troops for our for our liege, the king in Pembroke. Building up these uh, as part of our faith, our demands. Keep on building up these hospitals for when the plague comes, which, you know, let's face it, it's medieval times, it undoubtedly will. Great work just yet until I am the king. Fine for England. Let's see what plots and schemes we can create. Don't want to revoke the county of Derby. Don't really want to kill anyone just yet. My wife, Gisa, asked me to buy her some new clothes. Because of the pregnancy, she has outgrown most of her wardrobe, and now she feels frustrated for not having anything nice to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance at court. Ah. Uh, now, this one outlined here is because I have a high diplomacy skill. Uh, can very well summon the tailor, which gains me prestige, loses me gold, and it raises her opinion of me for 15, by, for, by 15 for 5 years. Or this one, which lowers it by 20 for 5 years. This one, I don't gain the prestige, but I do gain the opinion, and don't lose the gold. I'm greedy. You can, uh, we can do that one. Okay, so I think I'm probably going to do this fabricated claim on England pretty soon. Let's search for a smith first of all. We need some armor. Can I join a society? The Benedictine Order is an old monastic community. Ora et labora, meaning pray and labor. No, I don't want the Benedictine Order. I think, since we're a cynic, but we're fairly intelligent, we're going to join the Hermetic Society, although Lucifer's own is always tempting. Ah! Ah ha ha! Ah, brilliant. We have a son. Currently called Roger. Let us, in fact, and he is tall, comely, and he's an imbecile. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. We gotta call him Baldrick. Of course, we are. That really could not have uh, come out better. Uh, we're gonna pause that. <laughs> And then what we are going to do here is we are going to go add trait lunatic 2613920. So we now have a son who is tall, fairly nice looking, but he's an imbecilic lunatic. Fantastic. 
And then what we can do, that's brilliant. So let's go back to this and let's join the Hermetic Society. Get some uh, good artifacts out of that. Can we hire an apprentice? Here we go. Type up the book and we are an apprentice. My Marshal Geoffrey de Mowbray has told me about a remarkable armorsmith residing in Shrewsbury. He suggested that I invite the man to my court to see his work for myself. If he manages to impress me, I could order my own custom-made item. A fine idea, Marshal Geoffrey. Being such an industrious ruler has not gone unnoticed by the population of Lancaster. By paying the county elders a personal visit, they would surely be inspired and the peasants would feel particularly appreciated. A small donation would also go a long way, of course. Okay, let's go and visit. We'll get some prestige and lose a tiny amount of gold. Once the armsmith's craftsmanship has been checked on our most knowledgeable attendants to ensure the quality was sufficient, I received him in the throne room. He introduced himself as Master Rainer and gestured toward his numerous assistants who all carried examples of his work. Does my duke have anything special in mind? I am in need of protection. Make me a strong and sturdy set of armor. We'll have that. Thank you. Hey, how come you haven't made me spy master yet, King? Leech Council. He's made a priest. With ten state intrigue. His spy master. Why does he not want me as his spy master? It's almost like he doesn't trust me or anything. Craft me uh, a set of armor, I see. An excellent choice, my duke, says Master Rainer, and calls forward an assistant cradling several sets of armors in his arms. I have a couple of examples here. One must determine what one need and how much one is willing to pay, though they would all serve your highness well. Technically, I'm not a highness, uh, just to be pedantic about it. I'm, I'm only a duke, so therefore you should refer to me as your grace. But, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, craft me something of high quality, please. Okay. Any missions or anything to do because we are part of. Yes, we can go and acquire some ingredients. Hopefully, this will get our treasury up. These three, we've already got one. Uh, I call for my apprentice Tybalt to help me gather ingredients that are needed for further studies of the mysteries in the world. But first, I need to decide what kind of ingredients we need. So, we've got the options of we will gather herbs in the hills. In the forest, we shall hunt the most prized animal parts. I'm sure we'll find useful materials in the marketplace. And second thoughts, I don't have time for this. I'm going to go for the marketplace, because then I can just buy them as opposed to putting in some effort. There we go. Right. You've given me two children. Princess Githa. A third, perhaps. No. Geetha, what are you doing? The stalls around us are brimming with all different kinds of goods and people are swarming around us. Tybalt and I look 
each other in the eyes, nodding. We know that what that we will need to be thorough in our search and excelling and excellent in our haggling if we want to make some good deals here. Our charismatic touch bring forth the best wares to the lowest prices. Fantastic. Hello, Baldric. Baldric the lunatic. How are we going on? He's only a couple of months old. Not really doing an awful lot, just, you know, crying and shitting himself. Which, considering his traits, he'll probably be doing for the rest of his life. Oh dear. Master Rainer's main assistant has finally brought me the finished set of armour I have been waiting for. This beautiful and elegant set of armour. I am excited to see it goes beyond my original expectations. Thank you. So we've got the Norman Falchion and the Chainmail Armour now. Brilliant. See a few more things. And that ambition is done. Ah! Letters have been sent out to the whole Catholic world from the Vatican. The Pope has demanded a stop to the beatification of sinful people and revoked the rights from the rest of the clergy to do so. From now on, the granting of beatification will be given out by the Pope personally. The Vatican can no longer stand such shameful examples like the wrongful beatification of Randolph in his name. Now the only, only the truly pious followers of Christ will be, in, will be granted the reverence of the faith. Okay, Blessed Randolph, who was a lowborn Norman, who was a hedonist, but he was brave, greedy, gluttonous, shy, and I believe he died of camp fever. Okay, camp fever, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, not a single really redeeming quality there, at least not in terms of good traits, virtues, shall we say. Okay, navigating the different scenes and smells of the town square at this hour can be confusing. Still, I managed to find some good quality ingredients at a decent price, as it did Tybalt. Two alchemical ingredients have been added to my inventory. Ingredients gold and silver. Brilliant. Now I'm kind of hoping. Oh. Quality at least two. I really shouldn't read these more. What a quality are you? Quality one. Quality two. <sighs> okay. Well, if I am not the bad gaming guy, let's get this sorted out. Ooh! Well, not what I wanted to do, but okay. Just added myself a book. Let's get you destroyed, to be fair. There we go. 
So that should now be that completed, I believe. There we go. So let's unpause it. Thank you. There we go. Now, let's choose another ambi ambition. We want to become King of England. Thank you. Now, let's go to Intrigue. And plot to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of England. Let's auto invite any plotters. Sort by plot power. Send you some gold. We've got a plotter of Jugralf the Honourable of. Where are you from? The Duke of Normandy, oh dear. <laughs> is he, is he, a, is he part of the house, Normandy? He is, and yet he's quite happy for me to take his cousins, uncles, I don't know, uh, throne. Okay, well, cheers. Dear colleague, I have found the most fascinating phenomena from observing the sky. I am of the firmest belief that the foundation of the cosmos is hiding somewhere out there. In order to reach higher knowledge, you should take my advice and study the skies thoroughly. As above, so below, signed, Neophyte, Tybalt the Monk. Okay, cheers. It's given me a mission to observe the skies. Currently my mission is to take the Kingdom of England though, so personally it's a little bit more important, but okay. very good people here with very low percentages. And that's really quite it at the moment. It's not going to be great for us to be fair. My instruments and tones that I had to gather for my studies of the secrets behind the stars have finally arrived. Lenses of different shapes and sizes, together with dusty old tones written by learned people. Those will prove invaluable for uncovering the truth. Now I can carefully observe the sky, indeed. What's this? What's this? This is the... needs to be at least 100% and currently it's 92.3 we could try this one but it's a little bit risky it's only 60% chance of successfully fabricating a claim do 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 Is there anybody else? Not sure. What about you? Can I buy a favor from you? No. Can I give you some money? Yes. Can I now buy a favor from you? Yes. You can I buy a favor from you? No, can I give you some money? Yes, can I now buy a favor from you? Yes, okay. What about you? Can I buy a favor from you? Yes, what about you? Can I buy a favor from you? No, can I give you some money? Yes, can I buy a favor from you now? Yes. Okay, I'm hoping, I think, I'm right in saying that I can use all those favours 
to force him to join my plot, maybe. Uh, making sure that landowners and traders are paying their taxes in a timely fashion is a time-consuming task. Lately, my mind has been more occupied with the task of making sure that the stars are in their correct place rather than the taxes are in my coffers. And our options are what is wealth compared to knowledge. Um, this will get me the night owl. Uh, which gives me monthly prestige 10 but it gives me neglected accounting which gives me minus one stewardship and loses 34.9 gold some duties can't be neglected we'll have to do that okay let's on pause After many a night observing the skies, I have become certain that there is a lot going on up there, behind the clouds. However, I am considering putting this endeavour to rest for the sake of my other duties. Now, we'll keep going for a little bit with this. Uh, yellow. He's gonna give me a favour. Fight the plot. What do you mean? I don't use this favour thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now I could have sworn I could have used this. It should be an option for me to use that favour. Why not? He's already got the same plot. <laughs> That's a bit why. Okay. More car. Don't let me invite you either. Okay, let's just try this another way then. Is there anybody else? You really should be able to. I'm kind of annoyed with you, to be fair. Should be an option there for me to call in this favour. But I can't. Boo! Not happy. Right, let's do it this way. Not only have you failed to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of England, but your efforts have been discovered. King William is none too pleased. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. My plot has been discovered. I'm going rid of. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Claim K underscore England. The King of England does not exist as the console. Let's try that again. There we go. Fantastic. So I now have a strong claim on the King of England. We'll just pretend that that plot really did work. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to... Yeah. Right, I'm going to leave the King's Council then. So I can. I'm not anything important, so there's no need. And I'm going to create my own faction. And this faction is called. It's called. Duke Edmund for England. This is part of my cunning plan. Cunning, cunning plan. While in a meeting with my council, I feel a headache rising inside my skull, making it hard to pick up the different conversations in the room. Lack of sleep is clearly taking a toll on me. Shouting erupts in the room. Suddenly, Wido shouts my name. What a name. <laughs> Wido. <laughs> Bringing my consciousness back into the room in a threatening tone, he asks if I agree. Um, let's, yeah. Oh, yeah. That that would mean the council, the 
Looked at Godfrey's Wilhelm de Forez is no longer our Chancellor. No. Explain that one to me again. Okay. Now, let's go. Can you... Uh, I think I'll do for now. Curious, I was as pleased as always when I saw the amount of coin in the coffers this morning. Well, there's over four million of them, so yeah. But looking at it now, the amount seems somehow less. Could it be that someone is stealing from me? Uh, how would I possibly know that? I, I would struggle to count beyond a hundred, let alone four million. Come on. But there we go, we can get the trait paranoid. Let's let's get the trait paranoid, shall we? Can you join my faction? You can, fantastic. Uh, you can join my faction too. Can you join my faction? No, why can't you join my faction? He's got a title, a trait or something. A minor title, what about you? He can't because he is on the Lord's Council. And I don't know why you can't either. There's nothing. Uh, it is an early morning when I, with shaking hand, put my quill down. Is it possible? Have I predicted the travelling of a starfall? Wiping my brow, I go over my calculations once more. I get the same results again. It does seem to add up. I lean back in my chair. Judging from all the signs, I am fairly certain I know when this marvel will take place. Come the night, I will gather a crowd to witness with me, or I should keep this to myself just in case I am wrong. Well, we're quite ambitious, I think. Quite erudite. I'm a little bit paranoid, but uh, I think let's gather that crowd and hope we're not embarrassed. So what I want to do now, I'm going to search the realm for... Ah, Kai kind of died anyway. What about you, Kai? Buy a favour from you. No? Can I give you money? Yes. Can I buy a favour from you? Yes. Uh, we want... In this situation... Thank you. Why won't you form me? Why won't you? Oh, because he's an advisor. I really should check this first. He is also on the Lord's Council, so... That is silly, but it'll uh, come in handy later, I think. We want ruler. Yes. And rank. Let's pause our second. Ah. That's something added. Is that the book? Consolation of Philosophy? Constellation of Philosophy. The last and most influential work of Boethus. It was written in 523 as he awaited execution by the King of the Ostrogoths. Uh, I don't think that's the book I wrote. Maybe it is, but I don't think so. Am I still writing that book? Writing a book still, yes. Don't know how I got that. Okay. He really doesn't like the king, so he's probably going to be quite happy to join me. I'm going to buy a favour from him. Come buy your favour, give me some money. Now, buy a favour. Oh, you're mean. You're a money pinch, I'm just giving you money and you are oh, mean. 
Well, Duke, I would have Duke of Kent, the guy I dueled before. Can't, he's a steward, so he can't. Baldwin, Duke of Cornwall. He's a designated region, so I'm not sure if he will. Thank you. Got a one. Buy a favor from you, sir. No. Can I give you some money? Yes. Can I buy a favor from you? Oh, these Welsh people, what are they doing today? Yeah, it's like they've got morals and honor or something. What about you? I've already got a favor from you, haven't I? You still can't. Duffin Dunbar, Duke of Cumbria. I can't buy a thing from you at all, can I? Too young. Gilbert the Duke. Ah. Landano di Salerno is now known as the wife beater. Classy guy. Classy guy. Well, that's 52.5% of the leaders' total troops, so we're actually not doing too bad. Okay, so, since last episode we became the Duke of Lancaster, I think this episode, really, we should become the King of England. So, let's make sure we've got all our commanders. better for you? No. Nope. The air is crisp as people gather together at top of the hill to observe the nightly phenomena I have predicted. Not all of my, not all convinced of my <laughs> promise and I'm beginning to worry. Even if I am right, chances are the star fall will be visible tonight as the weather is particularly cloudy. As the moment passes, one person leaves, I hear mumbling. The night grows colder. Eventually, I am left alone on the hill. I am humiliated. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. The Count Waffly 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 Huff of Northampton wishes me to wishes to invite me to his plot. To fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Bedford. No. No! Decline. I'll get that, thank you. Curious, I was as pleased as always when I saw the amount of coin in the coffers this morning. Oh, this is the same event we've had before. Oh, I'm going to still be paranoid about it. Okay. Right. Time. For a bit of. The old taking out a kingdom. Your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded. No matter how many corrupted souls you have enticed to help carry out your plans, I will not give in without a fight. I'd rather die defending what is rightfully mine. Then war it is. I am now at war with the Kingdom of England for my claim on England. Let's pause it. 
So we've got some people who have joined us, but obviously we are against a large amount of England. That's because I've just become a king level title, but I've got an advisor. I'm not going to use that at the moment. Instead, we're going to raise all our levies. And we are going to go and get us some mercenaries. Because that's what being, you know, a medieval millionaire is all about. Mercenaries. Right, let's send you over here. Let's join you all together. I think I should be able to get some more commanders now. I can. Uh, you. Uh, not Tybalt, we'll have you instead. A righteous cause has attracted many supporters from all over the realm. King William, beware. Just got some uh, extra free men. Merge you two together, and we'll put in this guy. In fact, actually, we'll put that guy in there. And you can go and get us the king, if you please. Large army there. Uh, that's going to be a big, huge defeat because they've just reinforced that army. But what I can do instead is I can go there. Probably lose it beforehand, but then we'll have a big, huge battle. quite badly but now I'm here with my full army get back in the fight guys let's see if we can beat King William the Conqueror we can quite easily it's going quite nicely there perfect there. 
sent my army to London, to Westminster. We're going to siege the capital of England there. I have triumphed. I'm the best leader ever. You stop being so arrogant about it. A trait ambitious. Capture the capital. Brilliant. Siege of Sirencester. Been defeated there. Oh dear. King William's up to his old tricks. Dragged a wolf gulf from down to her hiding place. There we go, attacking the king again. Oh, so am I. I fled as well, huh? Oh dear. We actually lost more men than he did. But we uh, still won that battle overall. Let's move up with that army there. And we will uh, bring on reinforcements. them together. Brilliant. Uh, let's go to Northampton. And you are going to Leicester. Let's meet you in Leicester. Battle. Boston was captured in battle. And now my prisoner. Perfect. Even though I've never heard of that guy. Perfect anyway. And we are at a hundred percent. Which means offer peace, enforce demands. There we go. I am now the King of England. King Edmund the First Black Adder. Absolutely brilliant. However, he's still got a lot of titles, but he is imprisoned. Brilliant. Pause that. What titles can be created? If we can create the King of Wales, we haven't got enough piety just yet. Well, let's sort that out, eh? There you go. I'm holy. I'm holy. There we go. So now I have two kingdoms. Brilliant. Ambition, groom and heir. The groom the heir, that is Prince Baldric, the imbecilic lunatic. Right, let's sort out our positions as of our council. 
no one's better than him. But I'm Marshall. Um, go on, more card, Duke of Warwick. Oh no, because I'm going to have to take you out because you've got too many duchies. Steward. No. Spymaster. Spymaster is actually really good. I want to give him some money though. Girl, love me. Court Chaplain. No. Okay. Nobody gets a title, sorry. What about, uh, what about the title of an advisor? See, I don't really like you. You don't really like me. But he, however, did help. So he gets a position on the council. Choose a plot. How come I can't? Can't choose any of those. I can, however, look the county of Persh. To do that, Persian main. They are part of the Duchy of Anjou, which is currently under well, it's not even created, but it'll be under majority French control. So I'm not bothered about that. Okay. Deal with the prisoners I've got. Sigilhorn, Sigilhelm, whatever your name is. Uh, you're particularly important. You can be released. Duke William the Conqueror is, however, I really want to revoke a few of his titles. But I don't know if I'm going to get away with it. Uh, Duchy of Bedford, Duchy of Somerset. No, I can't do that. Not yet. Ah, uh, I see why I would potentially want to do that, because he currently stands to inherit all of his father's territories. Yes, okay. I'm interested in the plot to revoke Derby. My Marshal Count Jeffrey has become a rival of uh, one of my commanders, Indulf. Well done. Good job. You had one job. And uh, yeah, you failed. Let's organise a coronation ceremony. Only the Pope is fit to crown me. How much do the Pope like me? Oh, he really doesn't. Ugh. Pope. Money? Money solves everything. Is there any way I can get more money? No. Okay, let's see if the Pope will crown me. I don't know. You. Will you. Lack of vassalization? Nope. Money? Lack of vassalization. You. You. Vassalization? Nope. Money? Nope. Ah, oh dear. I have encountered Neophyte Tybalt many times while carrying out my duties for the Hermetic Society. Of course you have. He's your apprentice. He's your court physician. He's your court tutor. 
You picked him. Yes, you have encountered him indeed. Memory problems. And it is always a pleasant occasion. We can talk for hours if the time allows, because he never bores me. While our discussions are often lengthy, we always seem to agree on the matters which are most important. I think this is friendship. Ah. Ah. Let's uh, get rid of that army. Okay, so to King Edmund the Third of England, I shall be glad to recognise your divine right to rule as soon as you donate what is due to the church. What do you want? Ah, that's fine. Really. Now I have a distinguished member of the Catholic clergy to officiate my coronation. I must decide how much I wish to spend on the ceremony leading up to it. Well, it shall be extravagant one. I'm a millionaire. Okay, what does the King of France want? We pr propose King Philippe the Dapper and Gundred Gerbod's daughter, Mary. Right? If you want. Oh, that was the... Uh, former Count of Chester, wasn't it? Oh no, it was him. It was him. And this is his sister. Fine. Fight Edmund Master, I feel we are both held back by the lack of proper office of alchemy. If we are to uncover the secret of Hermes the Thrice Blessed, we will need the proper tools and workplace. Unless you build a laboratory, or our work here will fade into obscurity. Very well. Very well. Only a few days remain before I am crowned king before God and all my subjects. My court is filling with distinguished guests, both vassals and foreign dignitaries come to bear witness to this fundamental moment of my reign. Such a lavish ceremony is a rare spectacle to behold, even among royalty. With so many distinguished guests having travelled all the way to my court, the least I could do is entertain them while we all wait for the day of my coronation. This could also provide me with the opportunity to impress some of my more influential guests. Very well. Hear me, everyone. Oh no. Did not go well at all. It turns out Edmund Blackadder is yeah, is not good at making speeches. Ah, despite my best efforts, my speech about the duties of a good king to his subject was received a bit too coldly compared to my expectations. Perhaps I should have used less platitudes and talked about something more substantive. Oh dear, that lost me quite a bit of uh, prestige there. Let's see if we can make our wife pregnant again. How the hell, why is she showing me the door? Why are you being like this? Not happy with you. It's burned. Ugh. Meeting new rulers and exchanging ideas about politics and royal virtue has been an interesting consequence of this ceremony. Everybody has at least one anecdote to share with me about the proper way to rule a kingdom. I wonder which is closer to the truth. Fostering good relations with one neighbours and subjects is paramount, which will gain us one diplomacy. Proper handling of the states of the realm's finances are fundamental to gain me one stewardship. What is my current rank of both of those? Uh, well, I'm quite low in diplomacy, but I believe that's from... I must have gone though, yeah, okay. We'll have diplomacy, thank you. Rounds out a little bit. Some 
wrong person is attending. Thank you. I deal with Hall. Pope Alexander II has a host of vassals surround us in complete silence. The Pope blesses me and places the royal crown upon my head, proclaiming me King of England by grace of God. I am finally and truly King. Brilliant. Uh, we have a dangerous faction already, which is Duke William for England, the former king. Yeah. Have some money. Make that go away. Duke Odo. Did I duelled you already? I will duel you again, man. Have some money. Okay. Hopefully that will go away fairly soon. So, next steps is going to be finishing off taking over Wales. Can we get... Do with having King Malcolm having a daughter so we can marry into Scotland. I don't particularly want to war with Scotland just yet, but we shall see. Right, thank you very much, everybody. I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Uh, join us next time when. Wales, Scotland, Ireland, they're all going to be up for targets. We'll see what happens. We'll see if maybe my wife will actually let me into her room at any point in the next couple of years. Uh, hopefully Prince Baldrick will uh, do okay considering his traits. Princess Rosalind, she seems to be doing okay. Keep it to herself. Uh, we will see what happens. I hope you've all enjoyed today. Uh, feel free to leave a like if you liked it, leave a subscribe if you want to see more, leave a comment if there's anything you want me to do, uh, or if you have any cake recipes. Um, feel free to check out my Stellaris New Horizons playlist. I hope you have a good day. Cheers.